Where in the 1970s Bedouin tribes were still wandering across the desert, a wealthy and modern state has sprung up at a staggering speed, the United Arab Emirates. Money from oil has brought people here from all over the world in search of work. More than 80% of the 5 million inhabitants are foreigners. Arab, Asian and Western tradition collide here, making the Emirates a cultural melting pot. German artists have also been drawn to the Gulf to find their luck here. Philipp Meyer from Augsburg is a classical pianist and conductor. He came to Dubai a few years ago, fascinated by the wind of change that was blowing through the United Arab Emirates. It's definitely a land of great opportunity, particularly when it comes to art. The exciting thing about this society is the incredible mix of cultures, which is quite unique. Philip Meyer has set up an orchestra in Dubai with which he regularly tours the Emirates. Even though classical music is alien to the Gulf region, interest in his work is growing. Meyer is always at pains to pick up on Arab musical traditions. A piece by Omar Kairat was the first piece by a famous Arab composer I arranged for orchestra. Everyone here knows it. It's the title song of an Arabic soap opera. Omar Kairat has his own orchestra and he has composed a lot for orchestra. So it was an obvious choice. Sometimes it's not easy to find the right music. Khaliji music, the music of the Emirates, is less about melody and more about rhythm. Now flower is coming out of the grass. Every Monday, Philip Meyer rehearses with the Philharmonic Orchestra of the United Arab Emirates. It has around 70 musicians who form the Emirates' only classical orchestra to date. I had the vision of founding an orchestra here because for me it was incomprehensible how a city like Dubai or a country like the Emirates shouldn't have its own orchestra. There's not a single one here. I slowly started as a musician to get other musicians interested by giving concerts and it grew until I was able to say we were close to a proper orchestra. The musicians are predominantly from the Western world. There are hardly any local Arabs trained in classical instruments, and there is also virtually no state funding for the orchestra. Unfortunately, in this country and this society, the people don't understand that culture costs money first, and then doesn't bring in any money for a long, long time. That can be very frustrating sometimes. Philip Meyer is on his way from Dubai to the oasis of Al Ain in the Emirate of Abu Dhabi. The men and women at the universities here are taught separately. Today, Maya wants to get young female students interested in the music of classical composers by introducing them to Peter and the Wolf by Prokofiev. He's being helped by the Palestinian Nidal Mora, who's taking on the role of the narrator. What Prokofiev did in this piece, he used special instruments to picture the character of a person. What instrument would be suitable for a cat? Could you have thought about that? Probably not. What instrument would be suitable for a duck? You know, you have to imagine that, that he created this for nothing. For many of the students, this is the first time they've ever heard classical music. 
It is important that we approach culture carefully and sensitively. The families living in rural areas who send their children to the universities should recognize that music is a cultural asset that is anchored in every human soul. The duck squawked and fled quickly out of the pond. But no matter how hard the duck tried to run, it Quite amazing how you can picture these animals just with instruments. Huh? And the narrator's part is just because this is written for children, it's just to give them the remembrance of the introduction every time. Like, this is the cat. This is the duck, and this is Peter's grandfather. Otherwise, you can fully listen to this piece without narration and start spotting the different instruments like, oh, this is the cat coming from the bushes now. This is the bird flying into the tree. And even when there's dramatic climax, when Peter shouts, it becomes uh, piano, is it? Forte. When it's Forte. dramatic, it becomes strong. Forte, Forte means strong, and piano means soft. Even the, the, the tones of the instruments become stronger, and weaker, depending on what's happening in the story. And I think this is Prokofiev's cleverness coming yeah, out. In yeah. So I guess, I hope, we could interest you a little bit for a small little element what can be done with music, I think. Alien as Western classical music is for the students here, they're still moved by it. There are three things in the life. You don't uh, necessarily to learn the language, uh, art, and music and food. Yeah. <laughs> I think <laughs>